Hi, in this video, we are going to talk about parameter and statistic. Specifically, in this lesson, you should be able to distinguish between a parameter and statistic. As you can see in this figure, we have here a bigger group of people and we have a smaller group of people. Okay, so this is what we call the population and this is the sample. Okay? Ano kaya ibig sabihin ng population at saka ng sample? Anong kaibahan ng dalawa? So when we say a population, it is a group where members have something in common. Something in common. That is the total set of observations that can be made. So these are group of people na meron silang, uh, they share the same characteristics. Okay? They have something in common. Example. The population of senior citizens in Metro Manila. Ano ba yung something in common nila? Ano yung common characteristics nila? Uh, lahat ng senior citizens, okay, that resides in Metro Manila. So, yun yung common characteristics. Senior citizens and nasa Metro Manila. Okay? So, lahat ng senior citizen na nasa Metro Manila, that is considered as a population. Another example, the population of students in the senior high school program. Ano yung common characteristics? Okay. Lahat ng estudyante sa senior high school. So that's population. Lahat. Total set. Okay. Total set. So when we say a sample, it refers to a smaller group or subset. Okay. Tandaan yung word na subset. Ay, ibig sabihin, mas malaki yung population. Okay, taken doon, galing doon yung samples natin. Right? So, a subset of the population in question. Example, dun sa example natin kanina, lahat ng senior citizens in Metro Manila, kung kukuha tayo ng sample dyan, um, a sample of 500 senior citizens from Metro Manila. It's been out of all the senior citizens in Metro Manila, kukuha lang tayo ng 500. So, yung 500 na yun, those are the sample. Okay? So, 500 is the sample size. Another, yung example natin kanina na students, in lahat ng, ng senior high school students, okay? kung kukuha tayo ng sample, that would be a sample of 1,000 grade 11 students from Metro Manila. Okay? So, the sample size is 1,000. Again, a sample is smaller than the population in question. So, when we say a parameter, again, parameter, it describes an entire population. A parameter is a description about the population. A parameter. Example, 45% of the senior citizens in Metro Manila are male. So this statement is a description of all senior citizens in Metro Manila. It is a description of the population, of the entire population. Anong sabi? Sa lahat daw ng senior citizens in Metro Manila, 45% ay mga lalaki. Okay, so this is a parameter. Whereas a statistic, it describes only the sample. Okay. Example, 25 out of the 100 randomly chosen grade 11 students belong to STEM strand. Okay. Kumuha lang sila ng 100 na estudyante. So that's um, a sample. And sabi, 25 no sample ay na belong sa STEM strand. So ibig sabihin, this statement is a statistic. Okay? It describes the sample. Okay, let's practice. Suppose the quality manager wants to know the average life of the battery they manufacture. Average life of the battery they manufacture. He asked his employees to obtain 100 random sample of batteries and test how long the batteries will last. From the sample, it was found out that the average life of the battery is 1,100 hours. Identify the parameter in the statistic. Okay. So in the study, there are 100 uh, batteries that are chosen randomly as a sample. 
So it was found out that the average life is 1,100 hours. This is the average life. 1,100 hours is the average life of the 100 batteries. Right? So the statistic describes the sample. Therefore, 1,100 hours is the statistic in the study. Yung 1,100 hours, that's the statistic of the study. Whereas the parameter is the average life of the battery they manufacture. So, hindi hindi uh, hindi mentioned dyan kung anong average life ng lahat ng battery na mina, mina, uh, that they have manufactured.